The History of the Leprechaun The Leprechaun is one of the most iconic symbols of St. Patrick's Day. Where did the Leprechaun come from? What are some traditions associated with it? Leprechauns are fictional creatures, at least I hope they are, that have long been a part of Irish folklore and mythology. They are typically depicted as being elderly men, never standing more than about three feet in height. Most modern images of a leprechaun show the character dressed in green, with buckled shoes and a hat. However, in the earliest tales, the leprechauns wore red rather than green, and their coats had seven rows of seven buttons. According to the legends, leprechauns were excellent shoemakers. They had to be because one of their favorite pastimes was dancing. They would frequently stay up all night engaging in wild dancing sessions. These dances would put so much wear on their shoes that they were forced to constantly make new ones. Leprechauns were also known to have large amounts of gold in their possession. These coins were said to have once belonged to soldiers who hid their fortune in the ground before going off to war. While the soldiers were away, the leprechauns would dig up the treasure and claim it for themselves. The leprechauns stored their wealth in crocks of gold, which they kept at the end of a rainbow. The legends also suggest that if a human came into contact with a leprechaun, it was best just to let him be. If someone captured a leprechaun, legend also stated that the leprechaun was required to grant his captor three wishes. However, leprechauns were said to be rather tricky, and the wisher could easily end up being worse off than before. For example, in one story, a man wished to be the ruler of a tropical island. The leprechaun granted him his wish, sending him to a remote island where no one else lived. It was said that leprechauns were not trustworthy and would do anything to get away from their human captors. They enjoyed mischief and practical jokes. They were not viewed as evil, nor were they viewed as good. There are many stories in Irish folklore in which leprechauns take on each of these roles. Today, images of leprechauns can be found almost anywhere, from t-shirts to dolls, cereal boxes, and even representing major sports, franchises, and universities. In modern society, there aren't many people who believe in leprechauns, but they still remain one of the most recognizable features of Irish mythology, as well as being the most beloved mascot for St. Patrick's Day.